Hey, what's up everybody? It's your book Ahmed Mets of Patience, aka Ryan Shanky, back again with a new video. So today I'll be doing what if Naruto was Madara Grandson part 17, so let's get started. So, uh, if you don't remember what happened in the last time, uh, probably something will pop up for the last episode. And the last time I ended when I like Corona said, "Okay, team, meet me here tomorrow at eight eight a.m. We will train in the morning and do missions in the afternoon." So the day ended with Naruto and Hinata going home happy that both of them were on the same team so i asked you uh i asked you about like if sh like naruto should be bonding with sasuke to get to him from the avenging or avenger thing so most of you said yes like it was about three hours or two hours i asked you so it's uh, like i think it's 70 votes are yes and 10 no so yeah so there's a lot of yeses so you know so now so the past few days flew by with corona team they will train in the morning and do a couple of missions in the afternoon obviously naruto always complained since naruto wanted to test his skills in the real world but hinata was always present to bonk him in the head who would have thought that of the little shy hinata corona was very surprised with the skill level that Naruto and Hinata displayed. If she had to judge then, the QB nailed it by saying they had Johnny level skills. They are like their team was in effect compromised by one Johnny Sissy, two Ginnins, Ginnin, like green Johnnins and poor Ginnin lost in the middle. Naruto, Hinata and Kurune will never leave Shino behind so they began focusing more on him so he would be brought up to speed like so they can get him to their level fast naruto with the like help of kurune started on kage level exercise for his chakra control he had two exercises that he needed to do to bring his control to the highest level possible the first one uh, the first one was waterfall climbing this exercise allowed when like mastered the user to control vast amount of chakra with a great perception since climbing a waterfall is extremely hard the last exercise allowed one of like to have perfect chakra control almost rivaling to nada the slug sanin this like particular exercise was rather uh, pr uh, practice practical to perform the user dispo uh, like disposed to a chunk of sand with multiple colors in his hand uh, the point of the exercise was to separate and align the sand by color using only chakra it was uh, considered uh, mastered when the user managed managed this in less than 10 seconds hinata didn't have any weakness per se she had overall good skills whether it be in taijutsu ninjutsu genjutsu or even kinjutsu her chakra control was flawless since it was basic requirement for her joking or gentle fist in english or her own version of flowing fist shino however was another different level in a different level his taijutsu was low gaining level since he was long range fighter their typical weaknesses his ninjutsu was the three uh, the three basic academy jutsus couple coupled with clans jutsus and Gen uh, genjutsu was non-existence Overall, he was about mid gaining in skills. However, they were they will change that. Naruto placed a few like uh, restriction seals on him since it was too a, like a bird if he started using gravity seals. They decided to start his element uh, elemental training since everyone on his team already had uh, their mastered. Uh, surprisingly, he had earth and water, both defensive elements. His team was the perfect storm of offense and defense. In fact, his nature served him 
well above anyone else. As a long range fighter normally, his weakness will be close combat which was solved by his training and affinities. Along with uh, like this uh, training, they also did teamwork exercise. One of the things that made Konoha as the strongest in the element, uh, like elemental nations was their notion for teamwork and loyalty above all else. Their teamwork were, like was excellent. Neither of them had any problem with each other. Currently, we find Team 8 and Team Kurune heading toward the Hokage's office after morning tra of training. I should cl like, clarify the last statement. I, it was training for Naruto, Hinata and Kurune, but for Shino, one would call it torture. The poor Ginon was driven to the ground in order to gain the phys physical attributes he needed. So, in the Hokage uh, like mission assignment room, the old, old Hokage was sitting in the middle of the table, table smoking in, a, in his pipe while handing mission to the shinobi. To his left side was Iruka, the like school teacher of the student of team 8 the hokage was deep in thought remembering his prime the like thrill of the fight and the adrenaline pumping through his system not many shinobi have the privilege of growing old the shinobi life exper uh, expectancy expectancy yeah expectancy was actually around 30 years and reaching old age was very rare However, any shinobi that reached such an age began to reminisce all they the, like they did in their life. Shinobi since the birth are trained to fight and fight they do. It's all they know through their life. There is no greater death than death at the hands of your enemy in the midst of the battle. However, being taken by old age isn't something any warrior would want. Horizon Sartobi, third Hokage of Konoha and hailed as Shinobi no Kami or God of Shinobi, the man that had seen two great ninja wars and lived has been reduced to nothing but a paper pusher. Don't get me wrong, he, he loved his village and his place as a Hokage but his time was nearing its end. It was time to pass his hat and have the younger generation assume to resume his place. He was uh, snapped out of his thoughts when he saw Team 8 walking through the door. It always brought a smile to his face. Seeing Naruto and even Hinata, he was like a grandfather to both of them since Hinata was expelled by her father. He didn't know why but Naruto's smile always managed to cheer him up no matter how depressed the man was. Naruto was for the lack of better world a bundle of happiness. It surprised him how despite the glares and hatred he received, Naruto managed to keep a cheerful and loving personality. Team 8's reporting for mission, Hokage-sama, Hokage Kurine said bowing to the Hokage even though uh, the Hokage was clearly old, he was still was a very powerful shinobi and one of the strongest in the Leaf Village. <clears throat> Team 8 then like Sartobi said, Team 8 welcome to, let's see what we got here. Uh, receiving uh, the d rank mission scroll from Iroka, we've been cleaning, uh, we have cleaning uh, Inzuka Colonel, uh, capturing Tora, helping an old lady move a new, to the new house. The Okage never managed to finish. Then uh, we can uh, like uh, here, old man, we We'll take catching Tora, Naruto says smirking. The Hokage raised an eyebrow. No one liked chasing that damned cat that Naruto already done it in the past. Then Hinata said, are you serious Naruto-kun? Like she asked not really in the mood for running after a demon cat. What people don't know that Tora is actually a nin ninko, a ninja cat, trained specifically to for helping gaining teams with their teamwork. Then Naruto said, just trust me, as he replied picking up a uh, mission scroll. Then he said, hey old man, what's the record of catching Tora? Naruto asked with uh, like knowing grin. Then he said, like the, 
Hokage said, I think it's around three hours, but, but why do you ask? Do you intend to break it? Then, like the Hokage asked. Then Naruto said something like that. He replied that he went back to the middle of the room and took a small scroll from his pocket and unrolled the sc uh, scroll to show a small interact seal in it. He placed it on the ground and Naruto bit his thumb drawing in the blood and slammed it like it in the seal saying summoning Jutsu. There was a puff of smoke when smoke cleared the middle of the scroll was torn up. The Hokage eyes almost popped out of his socket and Naruto just laughed at everyone's expression. Mission accomplished, Hokage-sama, and I believe it's a new record. Record. Uh, Naruto said, laughing uh, like really hard, and delivering the cat to the Hokage. Then we uh, we see uh, like we see uh, Kurune asking him, "How did you do that, Naruto?" Even she had to chase that cat in her gaining days. And we can hear, I already had to chase her a few times in the past and somewhere along the way I got tired of uh, like of it and placed summoning seal in the cat. So I just offered a bit of blood and chakra and I can summon Tora through the seal on this scroll. Naruto explained and the Hokage and Kurune nodded, just nodded dumbly. So Kurune sensei, since I already got Tora and set record of about 15 seconds, do you want another mission? Naruto asked. Then Corona didn't have time to answer. Suddenly, there was a puff of smoke in the Hokage desk, revealing a small dog. He had brown fur and wore Konoha uh, Hatayit around his head. Then Naruto asked a dog, wondering who it was from. Then we, uh, we see the Hokage saying or explain, this is Pakun, a messenger and tracking dog for Kakashi. Then. The Hokage said, no, so we can say uh, here, Hokage-sama, I have a message from Kakashi. Bakun said, handing a Hokage the scroll, the Hokage opened it and it said, Hokage-sama, our client Tazuna lied about the mission permitter. It appears that the wave is under ghetto control and he wants Tazuna dead. We were attacked by the demon brother Guzu and Mizu of Kirigakur. And we defeated them, we decided to continue, however I request backup, backup, since most likely we will be attacked again, this time probably by Johnny level Ninkin or Missing Ninja, Hataki Kakashi, Johnny Sensei of Team 7. So Team 8, Hokage started getting their attention. Uh, like attention. It appears that the C rank mission I sent to uh, Team 7, it was bumped to a uh, low a rank kakashi requested backup so i'm sending you he will explain everything when you meet him there dismissed then team eight said in like unison and said hi hokage sama okay team go home and get your supplies and meet me through in at the north gate in one hour kurune said they left the room and went to prepare for their first a rank so after an hour Team 8 gathered in Northgate getting ready for departure. Corinne inspected everyone's supplies. It was the duty of Jenna Sensei. Then she said, Okay, team, before we depart, everyone has their supplies. Corinne, Konai, Shuriken food, first aid kits, soldier pills. Corinne asked and got not from everyone. Then Corinne said, Since we will be traveling in high speed, we will reach Team 7 in a couple of hours. However, we don't know which route Kakashi took so we don't know so uh, we will take in the main one then naruto said no need sensei do you still have the message current uh, kakashi sent then kurune said yeah i do why wondering the like uh, if the idea that naruto will have is a good one or not nah, like you know Naruto bit his thumb, uh, uh, drawing blood and uh, spreading across his right hand and palm. He went through a few hand seals and he summoned, uh, like he yelled summoning technique. There was a puff of smoke when it cleared uh, it like there was a brown fox with the five tails. So flashback real quick. We can hear the QB saying, Hey kids, come into the seal, I want to talk to you. Naruto was uh, currently 10 years old. He sat on the ground and lotus position and started meditating. After a few seconds, Naruto stood in front of the QB. It was currently laying on the ground beneath a, uh, a large tree. Then Naruto said, Do you need something, Kurama? He asked. 
Actually, Kurama was the QB uh, real name, so you know. Then Kurama said, smirking, I'm giving you your birthday present. Then Naruto asked, Is this a big flashy jutsu? Excited during Naruto's birthday, October the 10th, Kurama always celebrated the QB defeat by the Yondami. So all the villagers will gather up and try to harm Naruto. So his birthday were always a dark day for Naruto, but Kyuubi, Hinata, and Hokage always managed to cheer him up. Then Kurama said, "It's great technique, and you will be the first to use it. I trust you will use it wisely." So uh, the and like the, uh, in a pub, there was a big scroll, and Kurama said, "This is the summoning contact for the Fox Clan." Open it and write your name in blood in the first slot. Kurama explained Naruto did as he was told. He opened the scroll and a bit his thumb. He wrote his name and the first slot and pressed all five fingers down, uh, making a handprint. Then Kurama said, Now, to summon the fox to help you bit your thumb and go through the hand seals, dog, bird, monkey, ram, and pour chakra into the technique, give it a try. Kurama explained. Naruto did the technique, and when it was over, in front of him stood a small fox. Thanks, Kurama, you're the best, Naruto said. Of course I am. I'm the nine tail fox, king of the Biju, strongest being in the world. Kurama bo like boasted about himself. Then we can see, uh, like here, you still have that stick up your, <clears throat> you know. Naruto said, laughing while dodging uh, Kurama's tails that were trying to smash him. So the end of the flashback. Then the fox asked Naruto, "You need help?" Then Naruto said, "Yes, Kinto. We need a track to track Kakashi Sensei to provide backup. This paper has his scent." Naruto said and gave the paper to Kinto so he could track him. Then uh, said, I have him. When you are ready, Kento said, and Team A dashed out of Kono Head into War Team 7. I didn't know you could summon, uh, have a summoning scroll or summoning thing, Naruto, Kurone said. I have the fox summoning contact. I wa it was gifted from the QB. Naruto explained, getting a note from Kurone, she didn't want to pray too much. So a few hours later with Team 7. Team 7 has or had just left the boat that they used to cross into the wave everyone was walking at this like in civilian place since they had Tazuna with them Tazuna was as he put a super amazing bridge builder they were traveling in the like diamond formation Sasuke in front Sakura and Kiba to the sides and Kakashi in the back with Tazuna in the middle of them they were walking calmly but they had their guards up since kakashi warned them about possibly possible joining encounter suddenly kiba sent someone in the bushes and quickly picked up and drew kunai into it then sakura yelled baka stop apply applying with kunai or playing with kunai i'm not playing i thought some someone was there kiba replied and went to check on the bush only to find small white rabbit then Kib, uh, sakura said kiba you idiot you almost killed this poor rabbit sakura like uh, screamed and that sent kakashi thinking hmm white fur on spring that's strange at least with was used as kimawari or like subst substitution technique i think it is name so we could hear like kind of noise of slicing air or something you know what i mean and we see kakashi screaming get down and everyone hit the deck with kakashi dragging tazuna just as he yelled above them a huge board metal sword flew by their heads and got stuck in the tree moments later on top of the sword appeared a person who was tall and noticeably muscular man with a pale skin shortly spiked black hair brown eyes and small eyebrows he was wearing bandages like a mask over the bottom of half of his face under his mask he had a uh, like rel relatively narrow jaw line and jack teeth he wore his forehead protector sideways on his head was this a bunch of kids playing ninja? A shinobi said. Then Kakashi said, Momoshi Zabuza, a rank non kin from Kirigakur, known as the demon of Kirigakur or Mist Village, preparing uh, to face him in a battle. So, oh, look like isn't the Sharingan no Kakashi? Shinobi now, like, under, under, 
identified as Abu. I can't even speak. Sorry, guys. To as uh, identified as Abu said, just hand me the old man and you go. You know I can't do that, Zabuza. Kakashi said and lifted his higher like Hitayit revealing a fully mature Sharingan in his left eye. I get the Sharingan right in the beginning. I'm honored. Zabuza said, removing his sword and making a few hand seals and said, Miss Technique. The air started becoming thicker and after a few seconds, the whole area was covered in thick mist. Kakashi barely managed to see his own hand right in front of the in front of him. Team, keep your senses sharp. Zabuza is master of the silence killing technique, Kakashi said, and the entire team shivered. I demand you to show your face, Zabuza, and face me. Sasuke yelled, a Jonin was someone he could try his power on, and once he defeated him, he would be closer to killing his brother. Then Zabuza said, are you serious? Uh, projecting his voice around the area, not revealing his position, Zabuza started unleashing his uh, killer intent and Sasuke started shivering. Sasuke couldn't take it anymore and brought a kunai to his neck preparing to kill himself. So I'm gonna stop it right here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I can't continue anymore because I think my voice is gonna rip rip real quick. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this part to uh, about 20 minutes long so yeah as I always say stay home stay safe wash your hands and yeah and please don't forget to leave a like subscribe press the notification bell go check my discord server follow me on instagram see you in the next video peace out bye bye